little bit. We're back in the morning brew with friends. We're all talking about how we all need more coffee here this morning. It's Monday morning, but you know this is really interesting. We we're talking about DHS and the Department of Homeland Security and how they ended up basically just one week left in this whole thing to keep these guys, uh, it, all of the 2,300 employees in New Mexico, to have paychecks right now. It's become this really interesting political fight, and I know that. You, you really had some thoughts about why that's happening. Well, like they're tying very important legislation there to other legislation like the immigration bill and things like that. That's what happened with this one. They, they ought to stop that and just vote on each bill on its merits and stop tagging this and tagging that and tagging a dam in Iowa onto something like this. It's right. crazy. Or making one thing predicated on another thing. Correct. Yeah, Correct. just it, vote on funding on its own thing. What are you guys' thoughts on this? Wow, I'm. Uh, I know uh, you're, you're you're a politically motivated guy. Oh gosh, I wish. Just say uh, it lightly. I, I, I do definitely agree with Greg that it, it always uh, baffles my mind that they uh, you know tie one thing to another in a piece of legislation, and uh, it's in order to uh, if you support me on this, I'll support you on that. Right. Uh, it, it's just amazing to me. I think if they all got on the ski lift together, uh, right. went skiing with right. Chuck, uh, they'd all get along, and we'd have some. Compromise and cooperation. And well, could we have the ski lift Congress? Can you yeah. organize that? You know, it's not a bad idea. We'd right. all be in a good mood. And <laughs> Starts right. here. Yeah. Right. Yeah, the right. ski yeah. lift Congress. Or, or we could we dangle some today. of them over Al's run and say, <laughs> wise up, or we're going to let you go. It's true. You know, if you <laughs> bring a safety it's bar a up on the lift. And <laughs> or we could just go skiing. Yeah. I mean, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And forget the politics, but exactly. uh, and it's interesting too that you, that you have us on uh, uh, today because uh, the snow is so good in the state I right know. now. Right. Uh, if it's any, perfect. If you have a slightly sore throat, I would call in sick tomorrow and uh, either <laughs> head to Ski Santa Fe. Uh, conditions are amazing, or Taos, or any of the ski yeah. areas. Sorry. No, that's excellent. Because so totally no, it, forgive me. It, it's, <laughs> I would much rather talk skiing. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a. I, I am that guy. I've tried to ski, I've, and I've just gone down the mountain just on my face. It is not a pretty sight. I don't know what it is. is we'll there... take you out a few times before next year's ski lift pitch contest. So. Okay, teach me how a little bit. And we'll make sure you have a good helmet. <laughs> I need mean, can support. I football pads? Like... Yeah. <laughs> I was, you can I have was... a little extra support. The okay. Anyway, yeah. The ability to get along is, is just so important. And, and, and um, I, I heard a This American Life story the other day about... Uh, the, the coalition of real bearded Santa Clauses, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, they're, 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 I read that too because they're, yeah, they're, they're actually of, this guy, the group of guys, group of Santa Clauses with real beards. So they right. have a convention every year, and you know, they raise, on a cruise ship in the Caribbean. Well, they got in this, <laughs> they got in this huge, divisive political war and split the thing, and it's because mm -hmm. they developed an opinion and wouldn't back down and got so entrenched in their opinion that they could never back down and that's what uh, you know the, the the political system looks like uh, in DC these days and the the moral is I mean if the if this real bearded Santa Clauses can't get along uh, how do the rest of us get along <laughs> yeah I mean, Santa we're doomed no we're doomed <laughs> but maybe if they took a deep but breath, went skiing, and, and exactly. found and some common ground. Right. It you should come to like... New Mexico, ski the powder at Taos, and we could work it all out. Right. <laughs> but you do make more meaningful connections. It's you know that's that's part of what we're all talking about um, earlier. You you know if you if you share the lift with someone, if you ski down, you're likely to to remember that person and think back fondly and, um, and oh, work absolutely. it out. Take more time and right. Well, as soon as you spend 15 minutes with somebody next to them, sure. you end up with a connection that's. Yeah. Well, you've got something in common. There's commonality. People mm -hmm. like to do business with people like them. Right. And they mm -hmm. find out that, well, you're like me. You like to ski. Well, um, and also sharing an experience. Um, the, the adrenaline, the fresh air, it's, uh, it's human nature to, to remember that um, more vividly right. than, than something else you yeah. would so be How do you of. translate that? I mean, you're a finance guy, too. You know, how do you translate that into financial topics when you're, when you're working with people? You know, it's often mm -hmm. there's cognitive dissonance in people when they're trying to deal with things like, oh, I can't afford a house, it's too expensive, or I don't want to take equity, or I'm, I don't know how to deal with my own finances mm -hmm. in your case. You know, how do you bridge that gap with people? Is it much like how, how Chuck had to work through his programs, or is it, how do you guys work on that? Well, you, you, you ask them questions. Rather than be a talker, you'll be a listener. 
God gave us two ears for a reason and only one mouth, okay? So you, 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 be, a, exactly. you be a listener and, and find out what's important to them and see if you don't have a product or a plan that meets their needs, that actually meets their needs and not meets your needs. Mm -hmm. right. And that's how you get the connection. And you spend time with them. I think for me, I spend a lot of time with first-time entrepreneurs or early-stage startups. And often, in my case, they're not sure what venture capital means or what an investment in their company entails but um so it just takes you know spending time having conversations listening um and in your case it means sitting on boards of directors too sure sure and, and connecting them to to the um the resources, resources we have in town we have so many great organizations that can help um early stage startups like abqid with the accelerator speaking of abqid when is the next class getting started and how far along are you guys on that so we are taking applications right now mm -hmm. for the next cohort um, so and this is an ex a business accelerator, and this is cool because basically what it is, if you have a startup idea uh, for a new company, you can go to ABQID and pitch your idea, and they will help you get funding. They will give, give you, what is it, 12 weeks of business coaching advice, <clears throat> and it's, it's people just like... Katie, Bill Bias, a bunch of others, yeah. we're just there on the ground, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we have um, a whole list of resources, and then of course the biggest part of it is the uh, the accelerator, where we take um, ten to twelve companies through a ten week boot camp, um, and they get continuous uh, resources, advisors, and it's based on the lean startup model. Um, so we, we take them through a pretty intensive curriculum, but you know provide them. Um, with every connection and resource we have access to through ABQID, locally and nationally, and that we're includes part of the GAN program, the right. Global Accelerator Network. And that includes people, pros from the city, like Gary Opadal, yes. sitting down with yeah. companies every Wednesday. He comes you know? to um, to office hours religiously, so we have a lot of um, experts in finance, economic development, um, different. Um, Experts in, in their fields come to office hours between three to five at the Verge Building. ABQID and this is for any entrepreneur, yeah. anybody who's looking to start a company, or even just thinking about it. Maybe they're right. not an entrepreneur yet, but they have that itch. And, and they can you help nonprofits too? Sure. I mean, we we have all kinds of resources, and I'm sure there are. Uh, you connecting with the um, startup community and the for-profit world is in everyone's interest, so please come on over. And just what you're doing. I mean, we're very very proud of what we do uh, and have done for many years with adaptive sports program but but things like what you're doing um, uh, very important for the development of the um, you know the, the, the mind power in our state it will influence education um, and, and bring capital here. to our state we have uh, we have a lot of uh, innovation here and, and, a, and a lot of uh, uh, entrepreneurial thought and we do have a lack of capital, and so I think you should be very proud of what you're doing, and it's something that will really improve the quality of life here in the state. All right. Working on it. Yeah. Well, we'll be back in just a couple of seconds. We're going to talk a little bit more about this stuff and maybe checking and tell us which, uh, what mountain you're going to be on this next weekend in just a couple of seconds on the Morning Brew with Friends.